Sampada and I'm from Manassas, Virginia. And this is a project on Bhakta and Bhagwan, the relationship between a devotee and the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In this painting, we can see Lord Krishna with Srila Prabhupada, from which we can tell that Krishna is always with his devotees. Krishna loves his devotees and just like that, devotees love Krishna very very much. In Bhagavad Gita 10.9, Krishna says, Machitama kata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta shyamam nityam tushyanti charamanticha Thoughts of my pure devotee dwell in me. The lives are fully devoted to my service and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another but by conversing about me. When a devotee takes shelter under the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord completely, they become fully absorbed in love of God. Then they cannot live even for a moment without being in contact with the Supreme Lord, just as a fish cannot live without water. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Between a devotee and the Supreme Lord Krishna. We all can attain Krishna just by chanting his holy name Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. In the glorification of Krishna's devotee, Krishna said, I reside in that place where my pure devotees chant my holy name and discuss my form, pastimes, and qualities. Even though a person is born in a family of dog eaters, he is very dear to me if he is a pure devotee who has no motive to enjoy food of activity or mental speculation. I am completely under the control of my devotees. Indeed, I am not at all independent. Because my devotees are completely devoid of material desires, I sit within the cores of their hearts, Haribo. Here we can see how Lord Krishna is instructing Arjuna, who is his dear devotee. In Bhagavad Gita 18.65, Krishna says, Man mana bhava mad bhakto mad yaji maam namas guru maame vaisyasi satyante prati jane priyosi me. Always think of me and become my devotee. Worship me and offer your homage on to me. Thus you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. A devotee who is in such pure consciousness will certainly attain Krishna and will return to the abode of Krishna where he will be engaged in the association of Krishna face to face.